Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Alliance the Card Game. This is the starter kit by Alliance Card LLC. It's for two players ages six and up, and it probably takes about say, 45 minutes to play. In the game Alliance the Card Game, you're gonna get a deck of cards as well as a commander. Your decks are gonna be different colors, whether it be blue or whether it be red. On your cards, you're gonna have dice rolling symbols and numbers that you're gonna be able to try and roll to attack your opponents on the opposite side of the board, trying to vanquish them and put them in the slain pile. And then if you can, go ahead and get their leader up to the front to fight him off. If you can defeat your opponent's leader, you're going to win the game, all while utilizing a die and a bunch of tokens tokens they're gonna be used for life totals. All right, let me go take you down below and I'll show you what the game looks like and then I'll talk about how to play it. So here we have the game Alliance, the card game, and everything included for the starter kit of the game, which is going to play two players. As you see, there's going to be deck boxes for the blue and the red player, along with tokens that is going to be way more than enough for putting them down on your army units as they take damage or as they lose health. Over here is the rules for how to play the game and a bunch of helpful links and an explanation for the game, along with, of course, the box of the game. Down below, you can see there's two character mats. So there's going to be the blue army and the red army, and then you're also going to to have your uh, general or your captain, the main, the main guy on your army, the leader. And you're gonna put them down below just like this. You're gonna have a die that you're gonna be utilizing. This is actually a metal die that has a blue and silver color that reminds me kind of like of an alliance color. Looks nice, it is metal though. It's very, uh, very strong, very sturdy. You're also gonna get this big deck of cards here that is going to be shuffled up. There's gonna be some random characters in it. There's gonna be a, a general commanders, uh, basic units. And you're gonna place them all on your army slots to begin the game. Both players will do this. And on each of the cards is going to be a bunch of symbols along with a roll and an attack for that roll. As you can see, uh, let's look at this card here. It's gonna have a specific type of card that it is. It's gonna have whether it's range or whether it is melee. Uh, another symbol over here, that's, there are different ones based on, I guess, classes and all that kind of stuff. And then, of course, your health. It'll have some flavor text along with the art, and it's going to have a roll. So if you choose to have this character attack, you would simply roll the die. And then based on what you roll would be whether or not it does damage or not. Usually it's about 50-50, two, four, and a five. And then based on what you roll is how much attack damage you're gonna be dealing to any of the units on this side of the board. Now, that's pretty much what you're gonna get in the game and how the cards look and how they function. Let's come up and I'll explain how turn works and then I'll show you a couple. So we went ahead and set up the board already. As you can see, it was easy. There's five units in front of you. You have your leader and then your deck. Uh, there's gonna be your leader, your general, and your units. Those are the three different types of units that you're gonna be having in the game. And uh, you're just going to simply start off by choosing two units in the front row, the front column. And you'll then be rolling a die for each of them in order. So the first thing you'll say, okay, I wanna have uh, Rimbolt the Rider. I'm gonna have him attack. And I'm gonna choose to have him attack this Alliance Spearman. And I'm going to utilize the die and I'm gonna roll the die. And based on the die rolls, hopefully gonna be damage that is dealt. So I need to get a six, three, or one. I got a one, which means I do five damage to that unit. If that unit takes uh, lethal damage, so in this case he has four health, if uh, he takes five, he's going to die. When he dies, he's gonna go into his slain pile on the side of the board, and then uh, you're going to be able to attack again. So you have to choose a new character and another target, and you're going to once again roll the die. Very, very simple as far as how that works. After that, that's done, you've used your two units to roll, then you're going to pass turn and the next player is gonna to get to go. At the beginning of your turn, if you have one or more slain characters, like your army is, uh, has empty spots in it, you can place one unit from your deck into the army. If no units are in front of you, you can actually place, you have to place your general up and then your general is gonna be able to be attacked. The other way your general gets attacked is if your entire deck of cards uh, depletes, then the general is going to have to come out. And the idea of the game is to defeat your opponent's general. If you can do that, you're going to win the game. And the game takes place back and forth by players rolling die for two, two of their uh, characters, attacking two other targets, trying to slay as many different targets as possible, choosing the best possible combinations of the highest likelihood to roll as you can in the game. That's the idea of it. I'll show you a couple turns and then we'll give you my review. So we're back to the board now. As you can see, I went ahead and set it up for the two players that will be playing. You have the King Rygar and then you have Zaldar, the two uh, leaders in the game that you're going to be having to defeat. And then of course your decks and your, your slain areas. So let's go ahead and begin. The first thing that's gonna happen is we'll just have uh, the Alliance player go first. He's gonna choose one of his units and he's gonna choose to attack another unit. So let's go ahead and have uh, this unit here will attack uh, Draptor, the Drake Raptor. Uh, rolling a one, four, or two. So I need a one, four, or two. 
I rolled a one, that's solid. I'll do one damage to this guy. I'm gonna look into my pile and find uh, a two, which indicates his new health. I just put it on there right there to let you know how much health he has left. And then a new uh, unit's gonna attack, so we'll go with this one here and we'll try and attack that drafter again. I need a three, five, or a one. I got a four, no dice. Then the next player is gonna get a chance to go and they're gonna simply choose a target with one of their warriors. I have actually a nice one here, this is the general. He actually has some real serious damage. So we'll start with this guy and we'll go with the highest health character on the board. Board, uh, the Alliance Spearman here, and we'll roll 6, 3, or 1. I got a 6. That does 4 damage, which instantly knocks this character out into the slain pile. And then uh, the we'll use my Raptor here, and we'll try and go for one of these guys here. 3, 1, or a 2. I got a 3. That does 2 damage, meaning this guy's got 1 HP left. And then the next player's turn, he's going to get one card to fill in one of the slots, and then he's going to get to choose these units to try and attack once again. It goes back and forth like that, removing uh, life from players, putting new tokens on them. And of course, as you can see, the generals here are going to have uh, an, an extra opportunity to uh, hurt a player. Uh, it's going to be 6, 1, 5, and 4, as opposed to generally just 2, 1, 3, so two different, uh, one extra different roll. Uh, option as well as of course that some of the rolls are going to do more damage than others and you're going to look at all the different combinations that they have here two does four four does one five does two uh so there's a total of six seven eight nine four five six seven so there are different characters that are stronger than others obviously as well as other uh, generals and commanders that are leaders that are going to be a lot more powerful than others but that's the idea of the game i think you pretty much get it cards are going to keep going out you're going to keep rolling and choosing the best combinations but based on the best possible die rolls to hit the characters with either the most the least health based on how you kind of limit them. There's some other little different strategies, which I'll explain below, but let's come up and I'll give you my review now for the Alliance card game. Okay, so the Alliance card game or Alliance the card game, what do I think about it? And so we'll just go over point by point. We'll start with the positives and things I'd like to see changed or added to the game. First of all, you're going to have three different characters and they all do different, they don't do different things, but they have different uh, attack powers and different roles that are needed. And of course, your main leader is going to have an additional opportunity to do even more damage. I like the way the characters have all their damages spread out and that you can roll die and you can be able to choose and, and basically try and eliminate as much risk or chance as possible while there's still being a game about completely rolling die to eliminate your opponents, right? This die here is really nice, but it's also pretty, pretty, uh, if furious or ferocious looking because when it drops on the board it can actually damage the board that's how that's how strong this die is the artwork in the game is excellent i love the different dragons i like the different characters a lot of time and love has been put into uh, this game as far as the artwork goes it has a ton of unique characters and uh, basically different roles that each of them are going to have as well as different damage some of them will have more or less and um of course the leaders and the generals are going to have the most but the game is very very simple so those people who want something that's got a little more oomph to it as far as like it's more based on choice as a role as, a, as opposed to based on die roll you're going to probably enjoy a game that has more like you know that has more of a tactical feel this one does to an extent but it's gonna be based on what is my best unit on the board i always want to use that one to attack uh the best or worst unit on your opponent's board uh there's some strategies as well you can try and pick off Everybody gives them all the low health, so maybe one or two health, if you can do that, and then wipe their board up to get your, their commander out, because realistically, there's a lot of cards you have to go through in order to get that uh, final boss out to defeat them. So trying to kind of find a strategy to, to change the way the game is played is kind of a cool idea. There is... This is a starter deck, right? So just like when I first played the game Yu-Gi-Oh, it reminds me of that as far as, you know, there's a couple little interesting little tidbits, but the idea is to give you the mechanics of the game and how it's going to function. And so... It, it's going to be a very simplistic version of its of its future self. I mean, right now, for instance, there's there's different types of characters, and then there's different types of like ranged and uh, melee and whatnot. None of that's currently used in the starter set, so that's all going to be stuff that's going to be added. Uh, it has some tokens, like a lot of tokens, uh, that are going to be placed on the units and whatnot. They need to do away with that. They need to just add ones, fives, and tens as far as damage goes. And when the net amount of damage has been taken, it'll it'll save up a lot of space, a lot of token space. And they can add stuff like poison as uh, characters that don't, can't, uh, can't attack for the next round. Those kind of things that can be added to the game with these tokens as opposed to having... Uh, health for the, the leader from 25 to 24 to 23 all the way down to, to one. That just seems like a little excessive in my opinion. But um, overall, the concept is cool. I like the idea of how it's going to be, you're, you're choosing the best possible uh, transactions 
and that you can make while also it being a kind of 50 50 role as to whether or not you're going to do anything and then depending on the character whether or not it's going to die whether it's not going to die you're jumping into a fight sometimes you're, you're not going to be faced with the best odds but throwing in the additional expansion content is definitely going to make this game shine a lot more i want to see all the different poisons and character effects i want to see maybe some spell cards added to this so it starts building on to itself but like i said it's a starter kit so you're basically getting the the, the basic uh, aspect of the game alliance the card game if you like the way this game uh, functions mechanically it's one of those games i'd suggest you pick up because it's going to basically build on itself to the point where you're going to be able to have poison and all these kind of different things that are going to pop up how ranged works and how the different characters whether it's a beast mage or a beast warrior a beast human warrior all those different things will probably integrate in some way as far as character abilities and all that good stuff to the game as they add more and more characters uh so for me I, i've played a lot of these style games when they first started out in stutter decks and i enjoy them but uh i probably i'm more of like doing the strategically style games so i probably won't pick up another stutter deck of Yu-Gi-Oh. if i do play Yu-Gi-Oh again it would probably be a completely done like ultimate tournament edition and that's just not where this is at yet as far as coming out and producing more and more content for the game but i can see it getting there and, and with your help if you want to back the kickstarter campaign you can make this game come to life it has beautiful artwork and i'm excited to see what they release and how they're going to change the way characters function with each other based on the their classes and their range and all that kind of stuff it definitely needs more i want to see more right now i recommend this for anybody who's into starter style games uh, Yu Gi Oh, magic any of those basic starter sex if you enjoy playing that this is probably one you're going to enjoy as well and for those of you who are more interested in like it, the advancement of the game to see all the different extra stuff it might be interesting for you as well for those of you who don't like a lot of chance or a lot of die rollers not going to be one for you Overall, a uh, solid straight down the middle review as far as the set goes. I want to see what they do more of. Let me know what you think down below in the description. All right, let's go with the outro. All right, guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review or card game review. If you want to check out more of the Alliance, the card game, go down below in the description for the game on Kickstarter currently, right now, as well as checking out our other stuff on unfilteredgamer.com. Tons of blog posts, giveaways, lists, and all that good stuff. We're giving away a bunch of games. We're giving away Vindication. We're giving away Overlords of Infamy. We're giving away a copy of this game. If you want to win this game, you can win the starter set straight from my website by sharing out the campaign and all that good stuff um, to support the Alliance game, getting getting more and more funded to see what all, all the other great stuff they're gonna, they're gonna create for the game. You can also go ahead and subscribe right now no stop stop what you're doing right now and push the button it's right there in front of you please as well as uh, liking and sharing all of our content we do greatly appreciate whatever you guys want to do it's really really helpful and keeps me wanting to do more and more all right guys that's all i got for you this time and as always i look forward to starter kidding the alliance with you next time